Close your eyes and watch your breath. Watch it all the way in, all the way out. Allow the mind to settle down and be still here for a while. Remind yourself that the source for true happiness lies within, and this is where you're going to find it, right where the body and the mind meet at the breath. So get to know this spot well and learn how to be comfortable here. It requires adjusting the mind a little bit, adjusting the breath a little bit. So notice what kind of breathing feels good. Notice what kind of attitude you should bring to the present moment that makes it easiest to settle down. And part of it is just that, remembering if true happiness comes from here. We look at all the pleasures we get from the world outside and realize that they give us a little bit of well-being, but then they go, they go, they go. As John Sawat liked to say, the sensual pleasures you had last week, where are they now? They're gone. But the pleasure and the well-being that come from learning how to meditate, that sticks with you. All you have to do is focus on the breath, and there it is. So this is a good skill to develop. This is your way of showing goodwill and peace. This is the time of year when people start talking about peace and goodwill. Well, we're, this is something we, we're doing all the time. We find peace by finding happiness inside. We show goodwill for other people by having our own inner source of well-being right here, and then wishing them well, trying to be a good example for them where we can be. And if anyone asks for advice on how to find happiness inside, we're happy to share. It's this way that goodwill really becomes a reality, and peace really becomes a reality in the world. It has to come from within, and it can come only by training the mind. So this is what we're doing right now. We're training the mind so it knows where to look for its food, where to look for its happiness. And based on this, you can give gifts to the world. This is a time of gift giving. Well, one of the best gifts is the gift of virtue. In other words, you follow the precepts. No killing, no stealing, no illicit sex, no lying, no taking of intoxicants. As the Buddha said, when you hold these precepts, you're giving universal safety to everybody else, and then you're going to have a portion of that safety too. So that, he said, is a precious gift. It's a gift all around. And it's a gift that has lasting results. So many material things, when you give them, they give a little bit of pleasure, and then that's it. And the person has to move on, move on, move on. But the, the gift that comes from the precepts. That's universal, and it stays good all the time. So we find peace inside, and then we create peace outside by learning how to feed the mind well inside, so you don't have to compete with other people for little bits of happiness here and there. Because after all, as the Buddha said, even if it rained gold coins, we wouldn't have our fill of sensual pleasures. So that's the wrong place to look. No matter how, much, how you divide up the pie of the world, there's never going to be enough for everybody if that's where our only happiness is. But if you can find happiness inside, that's how you're showing goodwill and peace day after day after day, not just one or two days out of the year, but the whole year round.